You called Secretary Ma? Ming Zhe. Secretary Sun said there's a religious party member there. Unacceptable. Go take care of it. He needs to give up his beliefs and be expelled. The annual investigation of party members isn't done. So, we'll make an example of him. Yes. Secretary, I received a report of the Jiaoxia Village Secretary accepting bribes. I'll go see. Jiaoxia Village? Isn't Jia Weigua there? Yeah, that's him. He has ties to County Mayor Wong, right? Shove that for now. Okay. Handle this religious person. It's a political problem and must be punished. Check it out. If he's willing to give up his religion, just remove his party membership. If he declines, take him to the police and deal with him. Oh, yeah. Huh? I've also called Secretary Soon. He'll join you. All right, got it. Damn it. He can't just live a peaceful life. He has to find religion. He must be dealt with. A party member who's a believer must be a good person. I believe in God too. I should try to look out for him. I can't just go along with the party punishing believers. The Constitution clearly allows for freedom of belief. My faith is constitutional. Why would you force me to give it up? Is the Constitution just for show? Is it for foreigners to see? Mr. Lian, you've been with the party for so long. What is the Constitution? Don't you know? Party policies are the only true law. Going against the party? To be religious? is a betrayal. You know there will be consequences if you don't give up your faith. No other political parties restrict religion. It's only the Communist Party. Expelling religious people from the party? This isn't right. If all party members are atheists, who are thus anti-God, then can the party work for the good of the people? I'm a religious party member. It's a good thing. I just don't understand why you want to limit and expel me. Even common people with religious beliefs are held in check. It's more so for party members. Who do the party leaders believe in? They believe in Marx. They report to Marx when they die. How does the party treat believers? We eliminate them. It's either us or them. You are a party member, but if you're religious, you are the party's enemy. Is that clear enough for you? Huh? Director Lee, I need to get this. Hello? Speaking. Mr. Lin, the resolve you have to stay strong in your faith is really admirable. Staying strong in our faith is critical. Without faith, are we human? Hmm. I agree with you. The party wants to eradicate all religious beliefs. You need to give this careful thought. You're going to have to choose between party membership or faith. All right, got it. Okay. Mr. Lin, what's your decision? Hurry up. Answer him. I'm not giving up my faith. So, expel me, if you want. You... Hey.
the Communist Party is so opposed to religion, it hates Christians so much. They're bound to find out sooner or later that I'm a believer and take my post away. I need to be ready for it. I've been singing the praises of the Communist Party all these years. I've been involved in forced demolitions and bullying the common people. I've done quite a bit of evil. If I keep living this shameful existence and following the party in its wickedness, I'll definitely get what's coming to me. I need to get myself out of this satanic organization as soon as possible. Following God is the only way to gain life. God laments the future of mankind. He grieves at the fall of mankind and is pained that mankind is marching step by step toward decay and the path of no return. No one has ever given thought to which direction such a mankind that has broken the heart of God and renounced him to seek the evil one might be headed. It is precisely for this reason why no one senses the wrath of God. Why no one seeks a way to please God. And no one draws near to God. And what is more, why no one seeks to comprehend God's grief and pain. Even after hearing the voice of God, man continues on his own path, persists in straying from God, evading God's grace and care, and shunning his truth, preferring to sell himself to Satan, the enemy of God. And who has given any thought should man persist in his obduracy to how God will act toward this humanity that has dismissed him without a backward glance. No one knows that the reason for God's repeated reminders and exhortations is because he has prepared in his hands a calamity like never before, one that will be unbearable to the flesh and soul of man. This calamity is not merely a punishment of the flesh, but also of the soul. Over my past years working for the government, I've personally seen how evil the Communist Party's rule is. They not only madly suppress religion and persecute believers, but they steal the people's hard-won wealth, bully the commoners, and are tyrants. They've done so much evil, from one catastrophe to another. Yes. I am so disgusted with the Communist Party. All of these disasters are the consequences of the Communist Party committing evil. True. That's right. True. I've learned what the truth is, the true way is, through my faith in Almighty God. And I've seen the party's demonic face. If I keep on living inside of their system, I'll just sink deeper into it and be past redemption. The way to gain the truth is to follow Christ and expend myself for God. Amen. So, I'd like to get out of the Communist Party system to quit this job. I've decided that even if they arrest me, even if it costs my life, I'll have no complaints. God has given me my life, and so I should dedicate myself to God. Thank God. This kind of resolve 
is blessed by God. Thank God. Following Christ is not simple. The path is full of danger and hardship. It's hard to walk without true faith. Mm. Gaining the truth means paying a real price. Just as the Lord Jesus said, he that finds his life shall then lose it. He that loses his life for my sake shall find it. I'd like to read Almighty God's words. Okay. Okay. Page 646. What you have now inherited surpasses that of past apostles and prophets and is even greater than that of Moses and Peter. Blessings cannot be gained in a day or two, but through great sacrifice, which is to say you must possess a refined love and possess great faith and the many truths God requires you to attain. You must also turn unswervingly toward justice and your love for God must be unabating. You must have resolve. Changes must occur in your life disposition. Your corruption must be healed. You must accept God's arrangements without complaint. You must be obedient unto death. This you ought to attain. This is the final aim of God's work, and it is what God asks of this group of people. Amen. You cannot follow Christ without faith. If we can't risk our life for it, we could stumble at any moment. Only those who pursue the truth can stand firm. If we acknowledge Christ but don't follow him, we shall never obtain life. If we acknowledge Christ but don't follow him, we shall never obtain life. Yeah, that's so true. It is for me. I used to be content to just go to gatherings and do my duty. And I thought that kind of faith was good enough. That's why after those years, I didn't have any reality of truth. Hmm. What a waste of time. Now I feel a sense of urgency that if I don't forsake all to follow God, I'll never gain the truth. I'll belong to religion. True. Right. Those who acknowledge God, but don't follow will end up cast out and eliminated by him. Yeah, definitely. I also feel there's no time to lose. In the last days, God has come in the flesh to work, to make a group of overcomers before the disaster. Time is too short. It'll be gone quickly. Nothing matters now except pursuing the truth and doing my duty. Yes. That reminds me of God's words. Oh. From God presides over the fate of all mankind. God seeks those who long for him to appear. He seeks those who are able to hear his words, those who have not forgotten his commission and offer up their hearts and bodies to him. He seeks those who are as obedient as babes before him and do not resist him. If you can devote yourself to God, not hindered by any force, then God shall look upon you with favor and shall also bestow his blessings upon you. If you are of high station, of honorable reputation, possessed of great knowledge, the owner of great assets, and supported by many people, and yet all of these things still do not prevent you from coming before God to accept his calling and commission to do what God asks of you, then all that you do shall be the most meaningful cause on earth and the most righteous undertaking of mankind. Amen. 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 This passage, I read it a lot. It really inspires me every time. Now, with all my energy, I will pursue the truth and do my duty, so that I can gain the truth and life and earn God's approval. Amen. Thank God. Having that kind of faith and resolve is certainly a blessing from God. Thank God. Thank God. What? You're giving up your job for your faith to spread the gospel? How will we get by? Please, calm down. Just hear me out. What is there to say? I didn't agree with you being religious, but I saw that you changed after believing in God. You were even-tempered, and you took care of our daughter more, so I didn't stand in your way. I never thought that you'd end up wanting to quit your job. 
What's our family supposed to live on, huh? Is the gospel more important than our lives? Ah, uh, you are right about that. Sharing the gospel is a good deed, and it's remembered by God. Helping people hear God's voice and turn toward Him is something that God blesses. I'm doing evil with the Communist Party, opposing and working against God. There will be retribution for that sort of thing. Do you believe in consequences? I don't believe in anything, just money. We can't live without money. Money is the only way. You, you only know how to eat. The only thing you care about is money. You don't understand a thing. Your life's in vain. You. <sighs> So many people have died because they don't believe in God. Is that because they don't have money? No. It's because they lack faith, don't take the right path, and are punished. Hmm. If you follow the party, can that somehow save you from the disaster? When it arrives, no amount of money will help you. You say that, but the disaster hasn't come yet. You must be practical. You've made a good name for yourself and have secure income. So many others fight for that kind of government job. But you have one and just want to throw it away. That faith of yours has addled your brain. Our savior has come. If you refuse to believe or follow Christ, you're the one that's addled. You're the fool. When the disaster comes, You'll be weeping profusely. These years, working in the government, I've been fighting my conscience, pushing around the common people while saying how great the party is. I've done terrible things. If I don't repent, I'm sure to go to hell and be punished. I'll follow Christ of the last days. Doing my duty is the only way to cleanse myself of sin and also to repay God's immense love for me. That's the only way to clear my conscience, to be free of fear. And besides, Bearing witness to God is something every believer should do. What kind of a person is a believer who won't bear witness and satisfy God? No matter what, I need to follow Christ and do my duty. This is my choice. Don't meddle. I don't want to meddle with your affairs. I just want you to see reason. See, you're in the disciplinary department. You don't need to be involved in the party's bullying anymore. Just keep your official post and secretly believe in God. They'll never know. Isn't that a great solution? You really don't get it. Do you really think I haven't done enough evil already? You... <sighs> I've gotten myself mixed up in the party's evil ways. Going along with it, doing wicked things. I'm sure to get retribution if I do not repent. I've encountered Christ of the last days. It's an incredible opportunity. What about Lord Jesus' disciple Matthew, a tax collector? It was a great job. He dropped everything to follow the Savior Jesus. Like Matthew, I will follow Christ of the last days. That's the only way to be saved by God. I don't care. I'm opposed to you quitting your job. I've already made my choice. I'm going to quit, regardless. You? How can we live this way? God, 
I'm ready to set my resolve to follow you and do my duty. And no matter what stands in my way, I will follow you till the end and remain devoted. Is Mingjia here? He's inside. Hi, Minglan. Mingjia. Bao Chuan. Hi, Mingjia. Are you really quitting your job? Yes. But you have a great job. Even someone with a doctorate cannot always get this kind of job. How can you just quit so easily? She's right. What are you thinking? Minglan, this job puts me in a bad position. I'm helping to suppress people's religious beliefs. It's all wicked. It's an offense against others and God. If I keep following the Communist Party, I'll get retribution and be punished. But I don't want to do this anymore. Mingxia, you're looking at it all wrong. Yeah. As long as you're an official with authority, any job is a good job. You And since you have a good name, it benefits us too. Yes. You can't give up such a great position. Yeah. There's no need for you to go on. I've made up my mind. Mingxia, think of our entire family. If you're a government official, we all benefit from your status. If you quit, we won't get by. Who can we count on when we need some extra help? I'm on medical leave, and yet I still get paid. It's because the principal knows your status. If you give up your job, will he continue looking out for me? And our son is graduating. We were hoping you'd find him a job. Yeah. You only think of your faith. You have to think of your family. You guys always enjoy my privileges. Then why don't you ever think of me? Will you? Hey. Minja, please, I'm begging you, huh? I'll get on my knees, all right? Hey, stop. What are you doing? Get up. Promise me you won't quit. Get up first, then we'll talk about it. Everyone has difficulties in their own life. You're only thinking of yourself. Why can't you consider me for once? What about the big picture? Faith affects the cycle of life and death. It's a life and death choice. Oh, hello. Mingzai? Mingyu? Mingzhe, I hear you're going to quit your job for your religion. What are you thinking? Mingzai, I- You come here. I have a score I need to settle with you. We used to be very poor. I was constantly working, saving all my money for your studies. I didn't get married until my 30s. It was all so you could get to where you are now. So we could get ahead as a family. It wasn't easy for you to get to where you are, a government worker. And it helps the rest of us as well. But now, you'll give up your job just so you can believe in God. How is that fair after my years of sacrifice? Mingyu. Mingjin. <laughs> you really have to think of the entire family, huh? How will your wife and your daughter get by if you quit? And our mom and dad are getting old. Everything they need costs money. The whole family is counting on you. But instead, you do not want such a great job, such a good salary. You stupid? Is believing in God really that important? Of course it is. Ming Sai, Ming Yu, do you have any idea what times we're living in? The Lord Jesus said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. God gave mankind 2,000 years to repent. Now the Savior has come and is expressing the truth to save humanity. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. This one chance will be gone in a flash. The disaster will be upon us in no time at all. You don't believe, so you're not repenting, instead only going after money and a nice life. But when you fall into disaster, it'll be too late for regrets. You know what the Bible says? 
the prosperity of fools shall destroy them all. I have shared the gospel with you plenty of times so that you could believe in God and then be saved. You are afraid of being arrested by the Communist Party. You're set on following it. That's the road to hell and destruction. And now you want to force me to follow the party too. Is that not doing me harm? You? You? Why don't any of you get it? ming <sighs> I know that believing in God is good, but we have to get by as well here. Yeah. For each day we're here, we need to have a decent life. That's practical. Correct. Besides, if this disaster really is coming, then no one can stop it. The sky falls, everyone dies. But the sky hasn't fallen yet. Ming Tsai is right. Here, Ming Jie, let's sit. Look, you have an official post and a salary. The leaders really value you. As long as you do a good job, you will have an incredible future. Yeah. You can't give up your living just because you believe in God. Right. Isn't that sabotaging your future? My future? Doing evil and sinning will get me damned and sent to hell. What kind of future is that? Do you know what sort of people the party consists of? Every last one is an anti-God demon! They do horrible things, every manner of awful thing. They are certain to face damnation. Disasters are getting bigger. If you guys don't repent but follow the party, you are certain to fall into the disaster and be punished. Can't you see the way things are going? Yeah. I've learned some truths over my years of faith. It's become clear to me now that the only right path is having faith in God. You are all my family. You really don't care about my well-being. You're determined to have me walk this path of evil with the party. <sighs> Ningja. I don't know what sorts of people are in the party, but I see believers being arrested by them all the time. They get tortured, sentenced, and imprisoned. They are torn from their spouses and children. And you still... <sighs> what are you really after? Bao Chuan. I'll tell you what. He doesn't want to provide food. He wants his meals in prison. If you go out and spread the gospel, who knows when you'll be arrested and put in jail? It might even cost you your life. Correct. When you're dead, what use will your faith be? He's right. The weak can't defeat the strong. The party is in power now. So we have to listen to it and do what it wants to survive. That's right. <sighs> you're not believers, so you don't understand what the truth is. You don't see things clearly. The Bible says, as it is, appointed to men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Those who follow the Communist Party are bound for hell. Those who have faith and follow God will be blessed. And even if they die, they will never be punished in hell. A person's destination is what's most important. Disasters are getting worse and worse. When the great disaster comes, it's to chastise the great red dragon and to warn people to repent to God right away and accept Almighty God's salvation. Only people who follow God and truly repent will be saved. I won't interfere with what all of you choose, but I will have faith and follow God. I'll stay on this path, even if arrested, persecuted. Huh? What? Don't stand in my way. It's no use. Don't stand in your way? How can we do nothing? You? If you're arrested and in prison, we are all going to be affected. Yeah! Mr. Chen, a local teacher, 
was fired because his wife was arrested for being a believer. Exactly. See? Now his son will no longer be able to get into a good university. The future of his son is ruined. And if you're exactly. arrested for your faith, then we are all gonna lose our jobs too. That's your true. Your daughter and your nieces and nephews won't get into college or even the civil service. The entire family will suffer along with you. Yeah. Why can't you think of everyone else? Can't you? Huh? Mingjia, you have to think of us too. How will I take care of our daughter if you get thrown into prison? That's right. I'm telling you, you can't you believe, anymore. believe anymore. You cannot believe anymore. You can save your breath. The path I've chosen is the path of faith. I'll never give it up. <sighs> if you're afraid of being affected, let us go our separate ways. Li Mingjia! You're so bullheaded, you're beyond hope! Then just wait for the party to come get you. Pig-headed. You, you, you're impossible! You ingrate. Hey. Mingxia, how could you be come so on, stubborn? Come let's go home. Begging won't work, nor will advice. There's no hope. Li Mingxia, if you really resign, I'm getting a divorce. We can go our own ways. God, thank you for saving me from these shackles of Satan. I will follow you forever.